Well, this is a bit of bell, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's under here. I didn't realise I had the old dog room. No. I didn't. It's like being on a ship. Mm. Mm. Walking up and down here. Yeah, it definitely it felt is. like that. You can, you can feel a bit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Wanting to sort of go side to side. Have you tried that? Yeah, Have on the well. Yeah. I felt like I was dropping a bit. Yeah, you yeah, get you with water, you get yeah. like a drying feeling. Well, when you stood on this spot there. Yeah, it's a real heavy drawing. Yeah, I felt as if I was actually dipped. Uh, you know, yeah. I know it's flat, but there's no reason to fit it. Picking up on in here, anybody? I've got a man. A man? Um, cleaning fish. And Cutting, was, sorry, fish. Cleaning fish. <laughs> really strong smell of fish. Um, and I've got ch children, at least two children, stood where you're standing. Right. So I'm assuming this is their dad. Boys, girls, or you say children, do you know what sort? Are I don't they? know, I would say about mm, not little tiny children. They're about ten. Yeah, ten, nine, ten, that sort of age. And I'm assuming that's their dad because they they chat to him, but they don't come off there, they stay. Yeah, are, are they boys and girls or me? Uh, I'm girls. not sure. Well, I'm I'm not sure. I can see a girl. I can see a girl. Is there a door out of here? Is that a door? I don't know if that used to be a door there. The man's quite strong. The man I've got in here is quite strong, and I've got. A, I know there's children there, but I'm not really getting those. Yeah, I'm getting see, this man. Getting Junior, kids. are you holding the door? No. Hold the camera. Because there's a girl camera. with a white dress on. He won't got a camera. Just keep taking new, new pictures. Yeah. Well, he's there. The man's up there. He must have been holding the door. Yeah, he's, he's, he's... I don't know what he's doing. He isn't cutting them because he's doing that, but it, it's fish. Is he scraping and cleaning them? Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. maybe. <coughs> he's doing that sort of thing. the scales off. So he could be getting the guts out or, as Daphne said, getting descaling them. He's mouthing something to me and I... He's saying something and then Jack, so I don't know. <coughs> See, I'm picking, up the, I'm picking up the kids more than the man. What's the man? I haven't got any paper on my um, Yeah, Jack. But he's saying something before Jack. Stop doing that. Stop him out, it's wicked. <laughs> What's that? The dowsing was just going absolutely oh, ballistic. I can't get them steady. I can't get them steady to start asking questions. Uh, oh. Hit it. <laughs> I started going crazy. <laughs> Hit it. 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 Hit just that's it. Put them nice and steady nice, for a nice minute. Nice and straight, nice and straight. That's it. Can you nice listen to Daphne's so. voice? And then Daphne, right. you and Daphne can have a lovely play session. We can. Hello, my name's Daphne. Do you want to play with these rods again? If you do, can you move one of them? Yes, I thought you did. I've got goosebumps. Right, can you put it back straight again, please? Thank you. Lovely. Are you? Um, are you a little boy? No. You're a little girl, then, aren't you? Yep. Okay, go back straight again. Really. Really? That's better, lovely. Thank you. Do you live here in this house? No, you're just visiting, are you? You come for a party? Have you? Right, go back straight again. Brilliant, thank you. Is it... Is it Christmas?
Christmas time? Is it a Christmas party you've come for? No? Um, a birthday party? Somebody's birthday party? Yes? Oh, wow, what fun! All right, back, look at that, that's it. Getting the hang of it now. Yeah. So how old is the person? Can we see how many times we've got to come cross over? Well, that's an idea. Oh, right, Ooh. okay. Going all the way around, then. Um, my age? I don't think so. <laughs> 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 right, do you want to go back straight again? Point them out the front. Or was it? Was it a child whose birthday it was? Was it your nan whose birthday it was? It was your nan. Oh. Why did you say nan and not mum? Why did you know. automatically go for nan? I don't know. Because I would have normally gone for mum. Yeah, that's why I... Yeah, I don't know. It just that seems it must the right thing to say. say. Yeah. So it was your nan's party, was it? Well, we your nan's birthday so party. So Great. Um, anybody else got anything they want to ask? Was, was, your, was your nan the lady of the house? Yes. Uh, it was your nan that lived here, was it? How can we get the age oh. of this little girl? Little girl, ask her to oh, cross it and open it again. So many times. Right, can you put it pointing out the front again? Right, can you move the rod pointing to the other rod for the number of times of how old you are? Oops, you can. Right, okay. From now, and I'll count. One. Two, three, four, you're four are you? Is that right? Are you four? Oh wow, wish I was four. Have you got any brothers? Yes? Are they here too? <laughs> Are your brothers here as well? Yes, ah. Oh. So it's a big family party, is it? So do you think she can go up and play with the marbles in that? That's an idea. I don't know what the name of the room will be. Yeah, upstairs in one of the rooms, there's some marbles on a stool and there's a little dolphin. Do you think you or your brothers could go up and play with them? You do? Well, that'll be fun, won't it? There's six marbles on a stool up there. Perhaps she... you could all move one. They can throw them across the room. You could. You could even throw them. Do you think you could do that? But don't break the glass because you'll get told off. Oh, yes. Be very careful if you throw them, won't you? Yes, you will. Good girl. Okay, I'd like to know what your name is, but I think it might take too long. We've been trying to guess, wouldn't it? Um, is your brother bigger than you or smaller than you? Is he a big brother? Why not like your name? Is that why? Do you think she'll be able to come and talk to this boy? Right, yes. if you look over to my right, there's a man there with a little box with a little red light on. Do you think you could go over there and say what your name is? I'm sure you could shout very loud and say what your name is. Into that little, that's it, over there. Yep, just there. Yep, exactly. Can you shout very loud and say what your name is? I'll shut up for a minute. And you say what your name is to that little red light.
I'll tell you she's done it. Yeah, you've done it. Good girl. Good girl. We'll see if we can hear something in a minute. Why is that one so I don't know. Because the left one doesn't really move with me. Does, does your nan, did, did your nan take these pictures that you see around the building? Is she in one of these pictures? Yeah. Um, can you put the rods, both rods, to the front so we understand your answers? Can you move the other rod back to the front so they're straight? Can you do that for me or for Daphne? That's good, ah, girl. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sweetheart. Did your Did your nanny take these pictures that you can see around this building still? Is she in one of the pictures? Is your nanny in one of the pictures that are here? Are you in any of the pictures that are in this building? Are you still there, sweetheart? Does it feel different? Yeah. <coughs> yeah I think she's gone to play with the marbles. I think they're, yeah, she might have gone upstairs. Yeah, she pointed that way. That was, yeah, that's why that keeps pointing that way. Yeah, she's gone, up she's gone upstairs. That's really good, though, isn't it? That was good. We were really good. So, who was here? Sorry. I've got an Emily in here. She's an adult. And she's got bare feet. Bare feet? But, yeah, but not, she's not a, um, a worker, if you like. She's. Why is she bare feet? I don't know. Near the beach? I don't know. Um, she doesn't live here, but she's, um, I would say she came here a lot. She walks in. She doesn't knock on the door, she walks straight in this lady. If anyone feel anything, just say me. Okay, babies. <laughs> yeah, and, and more than one. Babies. Baby, yeah, little babies, you know, you born babies. Do you know what I keep seeing? Planes. <coughs> Planes. Planes. Planes? Mm. What, paper planes? Real planes? No, real planes. Um, uh, this is a very good room. It hasn't got a window, have you not? No, there ain't a window. <laughs> How odd is that? What on earth would you use this for with no window? But I feel sadness in this room. It's very quiet. It's mm. very quiet. It's very I just want to sit on the it's floor like, and go to the creek. I don't know. I feel really alone in this room. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm on my own. It's a really weird feeling. Mm. Well. Yeah, it does. Judy, can I just ask you something? Do you feel older in this room? Older? Because, not being funny, but you're looking through the camera, aren't you? You look really old. I'm not being nasty, but just in the other room, you looked like Julie. Yeah. But this room, you look really ancient. I don't know if that's my eyes, can you see? You look mm. really old. Mm. I wonder if this is where... Can you see that? Yeah. If you go to Nova, she looked younger. You put them together, it looks like it's you would say like mother and yeah, daughter sort of thing. Hmm, um, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's we know there is an age gap, but I'm just saying... Can I beg pardon? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, do want, I do want to sound rude. And you've but, been striking distance as well, Christopher Lahr. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm just trying to explain how it looked in the camera. 
compared to the other shots I've yeah, had with you in a different room? How I feel, it's really weird. Um, but I'm just saying, have a look. You, your face in this room look a lot older than yeah, you really yeah. are. And if we compare it from the next room, if we can get the faces together, yeah. you'll see what yeah. I mean. Your, your face have actually changed in this room. Yeah, it, um, it, it almost feels like um, like it should have a bloody Catholic statue or something in it. Yeah, it's really, it's it's definitely, um, it's definitely something religious up here. I reckon it's where they people would be on their own up here. You know what I mean? Where they'd come to. What I, I don't understand. And that this room really could, have could have been far. What on earth was this for? Why would you have a door there, that little gallery, and nothing? There's nothing in here, is there? Could it have been a bathroom? I don't know. Did they have bathrooms then? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. They normally have outside toilets, wouldn't they? Yeah, I'm sure they used to have had a, they used to fill baths up then, didn't they? Or did they have one? I don't know. It does, this doesn't feel like part of the house. It doesn't feel like part of... It feels very different to all the rest of the rooms. The floor is very creaky, isn't it? Mm. Mm. I'll tell you what else is strange. Now and then I get a sense of movement, you know, how they use the room and there's nothing. But there's nothing. It's no, real it's still in there. Yeah. I don't know, it's, it is hard to work out in this room. No one of the electrics downstairs, because the first time I was here, we had the same thing. And then it worked out, the same sort of time, they, the fridges and that were switching over. All right. So that is a bit awkward to work out the K2 meter in this area. That's why I mentioned to start with. I mean, I must say, what um, this this end of the house feels very dull. Yeah, it does. Very dark. No, I don't, I don't mean that. I mean just a bit. Not a lot going on, and it's the same downstairs. That side. As soon as I came upstairs, I wanted to go on that side. Mm. But this room feels very disconnected from the rest mm. of it. It's really weird. It cool. feels like it's a room that you almost had to... Could have been a lot of closet or something. I don't know. I don't know, but then why have the room... Why, the room, why have that yeah. door there coming from the stairwell? Yeah, but I think this door, the smaller door, was an add-on. I'm not 100% sure how that worked, but I think that door was your main door. To what door? To this room. Oh, yeah, but what the hell would this be for? I unless don't know. Was, unless it was just for keeping stuff in. Could have been like a, um, a big pantry or... Yeah, or keeping... It couldn't have been nothing cool in here, could it? Because right, right. the heat... It's the heat. See, I don't know, but I'm not sure if that door is original. But that one is. Mm. I'm going to have to find out why I keep seeing planes, though. What sort of planes? What do these planes look like? Can you describe one? They've got pointed fronts. They're not like a biplane or anything like that. They're proper... So that was a single wing plane, not a twin wing plane? No, it's, not, it's definitely not twin wing planes, no. But they're yeah. all flying together. They're not... It's not one after the other. They're all flying together. We'll have to look into that. Julie's just walked through there. No, Julie's oh, yeah. over there. Who's in that room? Because there's footsteps in there. There is. That's where some noises have been coming from. Mm. You know what I mean? Is anyone in there, Julie? No, no. Because there's creaking in that, in that no, room. No, 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 no. Well, if everyone just stands still. Just stands 
still, Chris. Well, if you carry on doing what you're doing in there. Is there any spirit in this room? Can you come and show yourself? Walk in front of the camera. Creaking in this room. I see you. Why don't you walk in front of the camera instead of behind the camera? across the room. Stop him from moving. Lola. Julie. Julie, watch Julie, please. Hey. No, I just need to get What's happening, Julie? They've killed her. They've killed her. Some of the kids have killed another kid. Kids have killed another kid. Yeah. Grace, is that right? Grace, was you hurt by children? It's her neck. They've done something to her neck, she can't move. Oh, she's paralysed or? Yeah, I think she is. And then the kids are shouting, mother, mother, mother. But why are you going to the stairs? Did she fall down the stairs? No, but you can see my arm there. In this room? Yeah, they're shouting, Mother, that way. Was it children, Grace? Grace, was it children that hurt you? Was it children that hurt you, Grace? Okay, right, okay. Is that Julia? Yes. It was definitely a change all of a sudden. She was pushed off. Pushed up a what though? Because the board just got all of a sudden pushed. <clears throat> Who'd you say this could be now? This is a mother. This is Juliet. It's not Juliet. It's Juliet, and that's the lady that's downstairs from this room. Okay. Is this Julie? Put the glass in the centre, sweetheart. Thank no, you. Can we get him to spell the name? Is this you, Juliet? Juliet, is this you? There's yes here and there's no over there. Is this Juliet that's now on the glass? Send to the glass, please. Where did it go to? Yes. So I can't get the camera on because it's gone out of focus. Yeah. 
us, please, Juliet? Do you know who hurt your child? Do you know who hurt Grace? Do you know? Do you know? That's yes there. If it's yes, can you put it right over it, please? Do you know who hurt your grace? Okay. Send to the glass, please. Charles. Charles did it. Was it Charles that did it? Was Charles the one that hurt Grace? Chris, she's just so angry. Grace is ten. Grace is ten. She's the one who's hurt her neck. Grace is ten. Julia, are you angry with these people that are hurt Grace? Are you angry? But they're her children. Not both, not all of them, I don't think. Yeah, she's angry. Are they all, all we her understand children? That you're angry. They're not. They're not. Grace is her child. But I thought so you said didn't you say they were shouting mum? They're shouting yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they're not shouting her though. Well they're shouting their mum. Charles is mum. Charles. There's more than one there's more than one child, it's not two just two children here. There were there were lots of children playing. Right, but Charles was shaving his mum. Charles is shouting his mum. I don't even know if it's Charles that's shouting his mum. There's children running. Well, you're saying the more agitated she's getting the game. Yeah, well, that's right. Yeah. Well, Charles is shouting his mum. 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 The kids, well, the Julia is Grace's mother. Grace is, not, is not the same. Juliet, where are you standing right. in this room? Take the glass to where you're standing in this room. But she's standing in that corner over there. Yeah, yeah she's that's where she's gone. Yeah, yeah. I saw her, didn't you? Yeah. 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 They've done something to her neck. Yeah, but the feeling I get is that somebody's also been pushed down the stairs. I wonder if somebody fell on the stairs when they were, because they're all there, yeah, those yeah, kids are all running around. Yeah, the stairs, yeah. But that's... But there's a lot of creep that have been playing, and they tripped on the, so she yeah. tripped on the stairs. Mm -hmm. Do you know if Grace, did Grace, was Grace's um, injury an accident, Juliet? Do you think, was it an accident that Grace had her injury? I wouldn't have thought so, no, 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 I didn't get feeling that I could feel he's down these stairs. And the K2 means it's going off. But that's her. K2 means it's going off. Camera four. Right. No, that one not on camera two as well. I'm going to about the picture. Yes, picture. Um, what happened was there was a bit of wall where there was a picture on there of um, a diver and a, a submerged something or other. It was very fuzzy, apparently. And, but you, you couldn't see this picture. You could only see the top part of it, but you couldn't actually see the picture bit. And then somehow the lighting changed and you saw um, it looked like a head and a bust. Of, of a person. And that happened a couple of times, it didn't it? It happened three times. First time it was just me, but the second time it was Andrew, Chris, Anthony, and um, this chap here. Yeah, that's Andrew. Yeah. That's Andrew, yeah. Yeah. And then the third time it happened, you was there, wasn't you? Mm -hmm. So that, that, was, that was something else. Like and you all see it this. Yes. And I you all see it at the same sort of time, did you? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just when the light, it, I mean, it's sort of the light.
mighty giant and it just sort of like just disappears um, just on top of the frame but nothing underneath. But there was a clear, clear, it was, it was bigger on the dark. First time on a board. Did you go on the scribe board? Uh, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, that was the first thing you went on, wasn't it? Yeah. And how did you feel that happened? What, what happened on that? Well, um, it just went and that was it, really. Yeah. It's interesting. It's a different movement, isn't it? Mm. Somebody actually, you can tell the difference. Yeah. Tell the difference if somebody's pushing it. Hmm. And what about the glass? Movement with, the, with your finger on the glass, how did you feel that went? Oh, that, yeah, that, that was really good. Yes. Was the energy different on that? Yeah, it did did you feel the difference in yeah. energy on the board? Yeah. And who else heard of the creaking? How can you explain what the creaking was? Because we were all in the same room, weren't we? And also, when we stood outside, you, we all heard that clanking on the glass. Oh, yes. And but they never heard it in in here. So. Did anybody ever go to Scribe Yard tonight? Sure, Actually, find that. Um, quite alarming. <laughs> well, it's the first time I've been on it, and um, yeah face change and everything else and um, George helped me through it and um, when I came down here looking around I realised the face is in one of the pictures. So nice. So, so the face you see in the mirror. Because I've got a shadow caught on camera, which we'll send over to you. Definitely. I mean, when you first set up the cameras downstairs, and I looked at them, initially we thought there was a bug flying. No, I initially you thought it. I beg the statement. I thought it was a bug. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I, I wasn't convinced. But I needed to go out and check, and there was nothing that I could see that was flying around. Um, I don't think. Granted, right, so there may be an element of, uh, of dust on the, the beams, but certainly not enough to see the amount of orbs I saw going through that room. They were coming at every different angle. Now, I've never seen that before here, ever. So that was a first for me. Mm. Um, exciting, but a bit scary. Yeah, I was going to say, when we analyse it and break it all down, we will send you a copy of that. So you can... Yeah. Absolutely. Was there anything else that you picked up? Because you came up to me with Adeline, didn't you? Yeah. Which was spot on. Yeah. As I said, you're the first person ever that was able to give me the full name and the incident and virtually her age. That's never been done. So your credibility goes up 100%. Um, that was the book that we were looking at with Adeline Grace. So, yes, yeah, so we've got it spot on. And was it in the right room? I'm pretty confident it was over that side of the house uh, because I'm guessing Julia had both these houses but she didn't have them straight away. She initially bought that side of the house from Jacob Long, the harbour master, um, and then a few years later she bought this side of the house. Oh, I got it wrong. I thought that was this side and then that side. That's right, and then they put a pat up the, the tower in the middle. And so, of course, the two entities, the two places, although you think are linked, are not. They're, they're, they are joined by that town. Mm. So, I, I'm guessing that it would have happened over Cameron House side, because I don't think there's much evidence of sofas and things, things in here, because when Julia took her photography um, that step further, when she kicked out all the chickens, which we were talking about earlier outside, 
she used the glass house as, uh, to develop her um, photographs. But later on, they used this room as um, a dressing room, you know, where you go and get made up ready for your photograph, and then Julia would take them through that door and then go out to the right hand side. So to think there's going to be sofas and things here, I'd say not. So I'm mm. guessing it was. It would have been that side, so it would have been right. I could get further confirmation on that. Studying the photographs, I might be able to pick something up that will tell us where it is. Yeah, that would be interesting to find out. Absolutely. And the room at the top, halfway up the stairs, which is the costume room, <coughs> do you know anything about that? What that you would have been? Which one? The. Oh, up sort of Where the, the costumes room. are. All right, okay. Um, it was. Those steps didn't go the way they are now. I believe they came up a different way, which is why you've got some anomaly with the loft doors. You may not have seen that. Um, so I think the stairs may have come up from the little costume room and, and into that area. Uh, Julia, later on, where the warden lives now, took over the um, flat, which um, as she lived in. And I think her servants may, sort of, uh, Mary, I can't think of them, sorry, don't call me to this. But they, I think, must have lived up in the attic. Yeah, because we had two people tonight reckon that room shouldn't be a room. Well, that's correct, I think, because the it was a stairwell. It was like a landing, if you like, similar to what you've got here yeah. on top of the stairs. There would have been another point that you go into, and then you've got the stairs going up to the loft, because, as I say, the stairs as we stand now uh, are going up that side of the wall. Um, and that being the costume room, but before the stairs would come up that way, mm. a totally different way. So yeah, because yeah, I think that was Nula and Judy, yeah. wasn't it? What yeah. said it shouldn't be a room? No, I don't, I don't think it probably was, to be honest, because it was it was an access point. Yeah. From what I can gather, it's, it's the only logical explanation as to where the, the steps go. You've got a door almost in the air with no step to it, so to get over it. I had to put one of those disabled handles on the door so that people could climb in and out of the door. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's possible it wasn't a room. Well, it's good that you confirmed what these picked up on. Same as Rob picked up on a blonde girl, didn't you? Which, yeah, and the sceptic. <laughs> Which is not a sceptic anymore. <laughs> hey? Yeah, we just love sceptics. What did, you, did you pick up on anything? Yeah, the blonde girl. I need a little bit more information about that um, because I'll have to do some research. Do you have any idea of the era, age, your clothing, or anything like that? I don't know much about it. <coughs> no, that's fair enough. If we could work out a rough time frame, then we could. Well, I think Rob picked up the same sort of thing anyway, didn't you, Rob? Yeah. So maybe you can help out on that. Some of her stuff back with her, 
gave X amount to her, her son, Henry, and threw the rest of it down that well. So, yeah, it confirms. It also, so. it's a tunnel. It's a possibility. I mean, it's, it's a possibility. I mean, these buildings were built without foundations. There is a matter of, of a gap underneath. But, and yes, there's definitely a well outside. In fact, you lift up the cover, it's pretty massive. Um, I'd love to dig it out, I'm sure somebody has, but it's no longer full of water. But it's, it's very, very big in, in terms of being round. I suppose from you sort of to there to the chair and me, it's that kind of sort of uh, circumference. So, yeah, definitely. So, whereabouts is this well? I know you said the garden, but whereabouts? Well, it's just out back here. Right. Literally at the back, and there are a couple of wells out is there. Is it not? Is it where the, the well shape thing is? Yeah, there's one there, but there is another one that is not that obvious, so if, unless you're looking the at the stones. I, the one I picked up on was almost outside, outside. the garden. Yeah, well that would confirm the story that our chairman, Dr. Brian Hinton, told me, because strangely enough, somebody else from a paranormal investigation asked the same question. And that's what prompted me to investigate it. And that's what when Brian told me that yes, that was supposedly what happened. So you've almost got two very close to each other. Yes. Yeah. I mean, oh, sorry, go on. No, it's one to have so many wells within. It's it, it's the water. A bit of history. Obviously, naturally, it's the water. Um, but it. We've got this wonderful chalk cliffs and it. it's filtered through them so it's really good quality water. And um, Freshwater actually gets its name from here, Freshwater Bay, because this is where the ships and that would pull in to get their fresh water. So the water table around this area would have been very high. So you just have a choice of wells, which you, you could So it's access. not a case that one's dried up and they've dug another one? <clears throat> I wouldn't have thought it would have dried up. I mean, the depth of it would tell me that it, it wouldn't have dried up. I just think it probably outlived its uses, maybe when the hand pumps come in or, or, or some other means of getting that water out. Um, I haven't looked, there is a flagstone outside that's got well written on it. I haven't lifted that one up because I'm rather inquisitive. I do like <laughs> looking at things. Um, but I'll get that up actually and have a look down and see what's there. That's mine. No. That's so, mine. yeah, well done for picking up the well. Okay. We've, um, no, we doesn't know about whereabouts in the house it is, but it's this part of the house right in the far corner. So you right. go through the two. Oh, rooms. yes, I know, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Julie, um, Julie and Nola picked up on babies. Okay. Um, now I've got to get this right and make sure it's the right side of the house. During the 1940s, Having been single mums was very taboo. It's my understanding that this place was used for the single mothers with their children. But the strangest thing is what Nula came out with was planes. Planes? Yeah, planes. planes in that room at all. Why do I keep saying planes? Well, it's a possibility, it was rare, but one of the bombers during the Second World War coming back hadn't got rid of its payload, decided to drop them on the island and one hit just across the road here and it truly blew up a complete conservatory of this building. So that could explain the plane. Could be. And there was a person killed by the bomb, so that image is possibly still there. Nice. And you're right to feel that it was much bigger than it was now. And um, I can't remember if I, I was talking about it earlier on, but the garden actually went back probably another 50, maybe 60 metres, um, and ends up, ends up so there's a wall and, and a small gate which Tennyson would always walk through and Julia would walk through. But yes, you're correct, it would have been bigger out that way, and it would have been bigger out to your right here and up to the end. Uh, again, I've got a photograph which is all got to be on the computer now, but it does show the house with all the ivy on it and the, the verandas outside, and it shows you how big the garden was. So, yeah, you're absolutely correct. It was about that size.
Carried one. There to that dirt room. Carried. Plates like big. Glass plates. Like the the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I would imagine yes, she would because the um, the only way that she would create to create her photographs is by using what's known the wet plate collodion, and that is uh, a, a mixture of various uh, chemicals. Some of them really poisonous, and I think even arsenic might have been used. So she would have to coat the plate first with the various chemicals, get it also stable. That would then go into the camera. She would then take a photograph of the subject. So naturally, yes, she would pick up the plate and she would carry it. And they uh, people with umbrellas covering Pro her up as she walked. Probably because again, you wouldn't want any extra sunlight on that plate once it's been right, exposed yeah. by the subject. So for her carrying large plates. Is, is almost certainly happened. Yeah, and they were coming from that side of the garden to this. And, and that would probably make sense again because Julia, she changed things around and she had her photograph, sort of photographic house, um, which is called a ga uh, gallery studio, over this side of the house. So, yes, she would perhaps walk back through this way to wherever she was going to, to finish off the final. Development of the plates to or add on to pit on to. It wasn't necessarily pictures. raining, but they had umbrellas. Yeah, be sunlight, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Get us. I'm saying they would have yeah. done that because you do not want any other yeah. any other sunlight on your images. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they they may well have had a cover to cover them. I'm not sure about that. But no, that. So what Colin Ford said to me, he said, John, if I had a plane, he said with a with an X-ray camera on it, he said I'd fly over all the houses in Freshwater and look in their lofts. <laughs> <laughs> He says, because I'm absolutely confident that there are still original images in people's lofts that they don't know about. Mm. Mm. Well, Cameron's got a good plan. Well, thanks very much, mate. You're welcome. My Been pleasure. a great night. And, uh, you know, great, great group tonight. Thank you.